Now to the presidential campaign and a health scare for Republican Rudy Giuliani. He spent the night in the hospital. Difficult day for his campaign. Here, how do you feel? Politician never shy in the past. Rudy Giuliani kept his comments brief and the press at a distance as he left the St. Louis hospital late today. Welcome to World News. Tonight, questions about the health of a leading presidential candidate. Rudy Giuliani turns his plane around in midair for emergency hospital treatment. This evening, we begin tonight with a question. Just what happened last night to Rudy Giuliani? He was thousands of feet up on a flight headed to New York. The plane was turned around. Giuliani was rushed to a hospital. He's out now. He says he's fine. But in this day, when such a spotlight is focused on candidates and their health, there are many questions unanswered. So as our senior political correspondent, Jake Tapper, reports, we're left with something of a puzzle. Jake? Good evening, Charlie. Well, it's been a very strange 24 hours for Rudy Giuliani. After complaining of dizziness and a severe he headache, he was rushed to the emergency room. But though his campaign has released no concrete medical information, they now assure us he is feeling fine. But the campaign refused to provide any details about those tests, provide medical records, or let reporters speak to his doctors. Whatever Giuliani was feeling was so painful last night after leaving a fundraiser in Chesterfield, Missouri. On the flight back to New York, Giuliani told the pilot of his charter plane to turn around. Rushed to St. Louis's Barnes Jewish Hospital, Giuliani checked into the emergency room at 10.30 p.m. local time. Today they are unapologetic about how little information they've released to the public about his condition, despite the former mayor's pledge of transparency at a debate here in Des Moines, Iowa, just last week. A sudden word came from the campaign trail overnight that Rudy Giuliani was in the hospital. He was rushed to a St. Louis emergency room overnight with what were called flu-like symptoms. Tonight he is out, said to be better, but there are still a lot of questions. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell picks up the story for us from St. Louis tonight. Kelly, good evening.